Tiny Point Panthers, welcome back to the morning news at home. I hope everyone is having an amazing day at home studying and staying in touch with their teachers online. Remember kids to wash your hands and stay six feet away from everyone when y'all will go outside. Now we're going to go back to Miss Nahana. Bye! Good morning, Panthers, and happy Friday. Today is Friday, October 16th. We do not have any birthdays today. Tomorrow's birthdays are Luis Serna, Hazel Davalos, Daniela Lopez, and Matthew Perez. Sunday, we have no birthdays. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pledge of allegiance to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one day under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Panthers, this year we're going to be communicating through Class Dojo. Parents, if you have not received your invitation from your child's homeroom teacher, please make sure to reach out so that they can send you a new invitation. All communication will be done through Class Dojo. It's very important for you to sign up. Hope to see you all on there. Bye-bye. On Thursdays, make sure you're checking the school newsletter. The school newsletter will be posted on the Piney Point website and on the school story in Class Dojo. And remember, all the news there is very, very important. So please make sure you're checking on Thursdays. Have a great day. Hello, Piney Point Panthers. Welcome to the 2021 school year. I'm Bobby Swayze. I'm your principal, and I want to show you around the school. But before I go in the building, I've got to put on my map. to help them get to class. So you don't have to worry. We will walk them there and make sure they get there safely. Parents, this is Miss Bailey, Assistant Principal at Penny Point Elementary School. 
Students continuing virtual learning for the second six weeks can interact with their teachers during short live lessons and ask questions and receive feedback from teachers during virtual office hours. During virtual instruction, students will maintain a similar schedule as they would during face-to-face -face instruction. The following tips can help your child be a successful learner. Find a quiet place for your child to work where you can still monitor them. Reduce distractions in your child's work area. Know the teacher expectations. For example, many teachers prefer that students' cameras are on. Blur the background or create a new background for your child when their camera is on. This will be less distracting for the other students. Make sure your child is participating and completing their work. Create an account on the parent portal of HISD Connect to stay up to date on your child's grade and attendance. Finally, reach out to your child's teacher for help. If you still need help, then call the main office. Hi Panthers, this is Miss Lahana. I am the Title I contact and I am here to help in any way possible. Please see my email below. Buenas tardes, Padre. Soy la Señora Lajana. Soy especialista de maestro y contacto de título 1. Cualquier cosa que necesitan, estoy aquí para ayudar y apoyarlos. Favor de usar el correo electrónico abajo. Potential Exposure School Closure If a student or staff member is potentially exposed, the following will occur. The school nurse will need to be notified immediately. She will report the exposure, suspect exposure, or confirmed positive COVID-19. She will contact the student's theme or the employee to investigate and complete the COVID-19 case report. She will also identify areas in the building where the student and employee was so that they can be cleaned. If needed, parents will be contacted, students and staff to inform them of possible exposure. For more information, please see the link below. Exposición potencial cierre de la escuela. Si un estudiante o miembro del personal está potencialmente expuesto, la enfermera de la escuela avisará inmediatamente para reportar exposición sospecha o confirmación positiva de COVID-19. La enfermera de la escuela se comunicará con los estudiantes empleados para investigar y completar el, el informe del caso. Identificará áreas donde el estudiante o empleado ha estado para la limpieza. Para más información, favor de ver el enlace. to like and subscribe to our channel. Go, Go Panthers. Panthers! See you, See you next time. time. Bye! Bye.